Hi, right, Dave Phillippe with FabCAD here. I'm going to show you how you can add custom shapes to the AutoRail database. To give you an example of what we're talking about here, let me fire up the Horizontal Rail program. And I'm going to import a template, inch and a quarter tube rail. Okay, I'm going to load that. And then I'm just going to go to the members and I'm going to change the post to inch and a half. And I'm going to copy that to there and do that at the bottom and leave the vertical pickets alone. No, I'm going to change the vertical pickets to three quarters. Okay, and the top rail, so we have these custom shapes here, but we want to add a particular shape to this database that will work with this inch and a half square tube. So I will just click OK there and we'll just get out of this for right now. And the piece I'm going to use is this item right here. So we want to add this. First thing we need to do is to get some data about this piece. So let's get the um, let's get the overall width of it. So it's the midpoint isn't quite at the extent, so I'm gonna use nearest and get to the outside of extent here to near here and it's two inches wide okay so we mark that down and then we want to get the overall height so I'll do a linear dimension from the midpoint there to the end point there and the overall height is one inch okay now the way this extrusion is designed you have the post that sets inside of this and the post is this is for an inch and a half post so we need to get the distance from the top of the top bar to where the top of the post needs to go so I'll do a linear dimension there and snap to the end point there to the midpoint of that and that's 11 sixteenths okay and then we will also need to get the distance from the top of the top bar to where the picket hits underneath here. So the linear dimension of that is 9 sixteenths. Okay, so let's erase that. So we've got all that data now. Alright, so now what we want to do is create this as a block, but we need to put it in a location where AutoRail can find it. So I'm going to go up here to insertions and I'm going to write a block and it's already currently set up to go to the library files but we don't want it there so I'm going to browse hit the browse button here and I'm going to go up to the FabCAD premium folder go to AutoRail and there is a folder called blocks here so we're going to put the block in that location and let's just call it uh, demo one we'll save it okay then we select the objects we'll select this top bar here and then we'll pick a point normally for top bars where the section view is generated you want the you want the base point at the top so I'll click OK and now we've added that to the AutoRail blocks database. So if I go back and take a well, let's go take a look and make sure it's in there. So I'm going to go down here to C Drive, FabCAD Premium, AutoRail blocks, and there's demo one right there. We just created it. Okay. Now I want to add this to the pull down list in AutoRail. So when I click on this horizontal rail program, when I go to this part here and go to custom shape, it's going to we're going to add it to this list here. So I'll just get out of that for now. Okay. So the way you do that is we go here to the customize box and we go to customize material selection and here we have all these different tabs and one of them is custom shape so when you look at this let's see let's find a here's a uh, 
let's look for one that's already in here. Is a is there something called a cap, a special cap rail? That's what we've got. So let's just copy that and just use that as a guide. So we're going to call this demo cap. And you can put the unit cost and the unit weight at this extrusion if you have that information. All right, so the first thing it asks for is the thickness. So the thickness of this one is one inch, and the width was two. And the block name is demo one, D E M O one. Now you see these other two settings, OTD and ITD. Well, here's a little gap nomenclature drawing here. So OTD, O stands for post, T stands for top, and D stands for distance. So we know that the overall thickness is one inch, but the OTD is the post distance from the top of the post to the top of this top bar is 11 sixteenths. We took that measurement, remember? And then the ITD, I stands for picket, T stands for top, and D stands for distance. So from the top of the top bar to the top of the picket on that is 9 sixteenths. So <clears throat> we got to put that stuff in here. So, but it has to be decimal. So 11 sixteenths is 0.68 and 9 sixteenths is 0.5625. Okay, so we click OK here, and we see it at the bottom. There it is at the bottom, all set to go. Okay, so we click OK, click OK, and now we have added this piece to the pull down list. So, so let's Let's go ahead and let's draw this rail with the new cap rail. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick a custom shape and we're going to drag down and there's the new one we just created. Click OK. Alright, so let's draw this thing. See how it looks. So we pick a point. It draws the rail. Here's the cut list and you look at the side view. There it is. It's perfect. And over here Let's just check the post to the top bar. So if we do a linear dimension here, from there to there, that's 11 16th. That's what we told her what we wanted. Let's try to pick it. The picket should be 9 16th here to there. And that's 9 16th. Okay? So everything is like it's supposed to be. So you apply those coefficients, OTD, ITD, or whatever it is, and that dictates the behavior of the pickets and the posts, and then with your custom extrusion. So you can use it more than just for top bars. You can make a custom extrusion of a louver, for instance, and you can have, you go to the fence program, and you can do horizontal members, and you can make a louver, a, like a privacy fence using louvers, or you can just use the gate program and draw a complete louver. Well, let's just do it real quick gate. I'm going to import a template there. I've got a two inch louver here. I'll load that. I'm just going to draw it so you can see it. So you've got this custom shape, two inch louver, and there are your louvers here in elevation and then section, just like that.